With things starting to pick up in Tokyo Avengers, I wanted to start making these videos where I go quite a bit in depth with the characters of the series, alongside my other explanation videos I have planned for the show. I definitely say the characters in Tokyo Avengers are one of his main driving forces and one of the parts I like most about the series, so it's only natural I have these videos dedicated to the characters. So who else would it be better to start with than the commander of the Tokyo Manji gang, Manjiro Sano, also known as Mikey. Two episodes ago we finally got introduced to Mikey in the past, so today I'm going to be diving deep as I explain his backstory, how strong he is, beliefs, fighting style, just all of the above really. And Mikey has a rather crazy story, so get ready for the ride. And before we get into the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel so you can always keep up date with my Tokyo Avengers videos, which I'm going to try and post consistently on a weekly basis. And just consider subscribing if you like anime in general. I have quite a few series I'm covering on the channel from My Hero Academia, Attack on Titan, Demon Slayer and much more. So I'm sure the channel has something for you. And last but not least, this video will contain manga spoilers for Tokyo Avengers, so proceed with caution. However, I'll try not to deviate from my creative information and I won't really talk about the plot unless it's necessary. With that being said, let's get right into the video. Mikey is initially mentioned to us in the story as being the head of the infamous and dangerous Tokyo Manji gang. Him alongside Kasaki Teta are both the targets of Takemichi as he goes back into the past to prevent these two from meeting, which should stop the Tokyo Manji gang in the future being as bad and corrupt as it is, which will also serve to prevent Takemichi's middle school girlfriend, Tachibana Hinata, from losing her life in the future due to the gang's activities. So before meeting Mikey in the past, we have this initial impression of him being the bad guy who's in charge of one of the worst gangs in Tokyo. However, once Takemichi goes back in time 12 years, we can see at least for his past self that that's not the case. We first see Mikey in the past at the fighting ring that was being held by Kiyomasa, and Mikey accompanied by Draken locks off the fight, thinking that the whole thing was just lame, and he easily beats up Kiyomasa asserting his dominance. Upon his arrival to the fight, we can see how much authority Mikey actually holds as the leader of the Tokyo Manji gang, as all the people around him bow their heads to show their respect, which makes a lot of sense taking into account how easily he disposed of Kiyomasa, who was making life a living hell for Takemichi and his friends. So from this first introduction to Mikey, we can see why he's the leader of the Tokyo Manji gang and why he holds the nickname the Invincible Mikey. From his personality, we can see he's pretty childish and easygoing for the most part, while also being able to be fierce when the time calls for it. And as we can see through his encounter with Takamichi, Mikey respects a person who can stand their ground and not give up in what they believe in. But this is just what we've learned of Mikey from his first official introduction into the series. So let's go over his backstory and how he reached where he is today, and this is where we're going to start going into manga territory, so do be warned. Manjiro Sano, also known as Mikey, was born on the 20th of August 1990. And growing up out of admiration for his brother who used to be in a gang, Mikey set his sights on following a similar path of being a delinquent since he thought they were cool and always took care of their own. And Mikey's dream as a kid is to create a new era for delinquents. Also some short trivial facts about Mikey that you should know, his favourite food is Taiyaki and Doraiyaki and he absolutely loves his CB205T motorcycle which is a memento from his brother who passed away. Now with that information out of the way, let's dive into Mikey's backstory. With no known information on the situation of his biological parents, Mikey was raised by his grandfather alongside his older brother and his half-sister. And the interesting piece of information is that Manjiro actually got the nickname Mikey when his half-sister started living with him. Since she was thrown in an attempt to try and cheer her up and try to make her feel at home, he said that now your big brother is called Mikey, we both have foreign names and you won't feel alienated which just reflects the kind nature that Mikey has. Moving on from that, Mikey's grandfather ran a dojo and as a kid Mikey would dedicate himself to training in martial arts and was recognised as a fighting prodigy by his grandfather and those around him. Hence why he's so strong. He's not like the majority of the delinquents who just fight, he actually has earnest training under his belt and has been fighting since he was really young. So Mikey's unrivaled strength and power is actually the result of how he was training in the dojo with his grandfather and how his brother raised him to be as a man. When Mikey fights, we typically see him using his signature roundhouse kick, which tends to take out the opponent instantly. He usually starts all of his battles that way, and if the opponent manages to stop or handle the kick, then we get to see Mikey using other forms of martial arts when he's battling. And due to his training, Mikey is also very agile, being able to attack his opponents before they know what hit them, and he also has insane endurance, being able to handle blows which would have knocked other people out, despite his small size. So Mikey since a very young age has always been insanely strong. Before the formation of the Tokyo Manji Gang, back when Mikey was in elementary school, we learned that he initially made his name Mikey known after beating up the leader of a biker gang called Bachikan. And what makes this crazy is the fact that he was beating up high schoolers when he was still in elementary school. And on multiple occasions we see Mikey beating up individuals way older than him throughout this series. As years would pass when Mikey was at the age of 12, 
he and his friends who would later be known as the founding members of the Tokyo Magic Gang were all riding around town on their bikes. Long story short, Mikey wanted them all to meet up at the shrine so he could announce something and they all ended up racing to see who could get there first. Mikey being carefree as usual fell asleep on the way there and his closest friend Badgy ended up carrying him up the stairs to the shrine so he could say what he wanted to say to the others. Mikey had previously learnt from Badgy that Kazutoro got beaten up by the Black Dragons and he wanted the just reason to take them on so he brought this news to everyone's attention. With the recommendation of Badgy saying that they should create their own gang to take on the Black Dragons, the Tokyo Manjiro gang was formed, with Mikey being the leader since he was the centre of the group and the strongest. So the Tokyo Manjiro gang was founded on the words of Badgy of being a gang that was all for one and one for all, and that they would all put their lives on the line for one another. So before the Tokyo Manji gang would expand to what we see in the past that Takamichi travels to and the present wears one of the worst gangs in Tokyo, the Tokyo Manjiro gang was just a gang of six friends trying to help each other out. And that's when Mikey officially became the leader with the expectation of creating a new age for his fellow delinquent friends. But as time would go on in the initial timeline Takamichi came from, Mikey would end up getting corrupted and fall into his dark impulses, mainly due to the loss of his older brother who was his guiding light. So alongside Kisaki Teta, he would end up commanding the terrible Tokyo Manji gang we see in the future, that has committed every crime possible as we learned in the beginning of the series. And with that, we come to the end of the video. Mikey is definitely one of the best characters in Tokyo Avengers and he has quite a lot of depth to him. While being carefree, he can also be extremely ruthless and he definitely lives up to his nickname of being the Invincible Mikey. So before I wrap things up, let me know what you thought of the format for today's video. I tried my best to explain Mikey from his past, his future, his strength, motivation, all those type of things without giving too much away since I know there's definitely going to be people watching it who don't want everything spoiled for them. So do be sure to let me know what you thought of the video and if there's any ways I can improve. And if you did enjoy this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss out on any more Tokyo Avengers videos. I'll be doing more character specific videos like these so be sure to let me know what you want to see next. And last but not least make sure to join the discord server down below since right now I'm seriously trying to work on making it more active so I hope you guys will check it out. And with that being said I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.